I have one last question. Um, Clay, I'd like you to answer it. Um, your influence in business is legendary. Your ideas, as we've heard tonight, um, have been transformative for so many companies and industries. But your book, How Will You Measure Your Life, which I see at every place um, at dinner tonight, takes us far beyond business. And so from where you sit now, I'd like to hear your advice for young entrepreneurs um, and the rest about business and about life. Five words or less. <laughs> That's a great question also, Jane. Um, one of the messages of disruption is that the leaders of these corporations that get killed don't stumble because they're not smart people, but by making decisions that seem to be consummately right, turn out to be wrong. And what we thought was right was wrong, and what we thought was wrong was right, you know. And, and so, it, boy, it just seems like stuff happens to us that, and we actually implement strategies that we don't intend to implement. So Bethlehem Steel, they never got their board and their executive um, managers to go for a three-day retreat to, to formulate a plan for driving Bethlehem Steel into bankruptcy. <laughs> you know, they, they planned, they thought everything they're doing is going to sustain their success. You know, no, Never did the executives of General Motors get together and develop a plan for just killing the, the company. And, why is it that they do what they never plan? I look back at my classmates at the Harvard Business School, and now, you know, 25 or 30 years, there is a shocking proportion of my classmates who have been through one, two, or three divorces whose spouse married somebody else, and they live on the other coast and and our children are being raised by somebody somebody else and some of them their children hate their guts you know and i know that when we uh, graduated from school there wasn't a single one of my classmates who had a deliberate strategy to go out and get divorced <laughs> and have children that that we are and alienated from them. But a shocking number implemented a strategy that they in, did not intend to pursue. And I think that the same, the reason why is the process in a company where they decide, I'll invest in this and this, and I don't, thi I don't think I'll invest in this, is there is a criteria which entails if it pays off fast, it's better than things that pay off s slower. If it gives more tangible evidence of profit, that's, uh, that's a, a better place to focus. And inside of, our in our, inside of our brains, we have the same mechanism. So people who have a high need for achievement, which includes at least 100% of us, <laughs> if we have a high need for achievement, then when we have an extra ounce of energy or hour of time, we will instinctively, in our personal lives, just as we do as executives, we'll give that extra to whatever activity provides the most tangible, immediate evidence of achievement. And uh, our careers provide all of that tangible, immediate evidence. We, we close a deal. We ship a product. We announce a new product. We get paid. We get promoted. And our careers provide this tangible, immediate evidence of achievement every day. And the problem with children 
is that they don't pay off for 25 years. <laughs> and it really is, on a day-to-day -day basis, our children misbehave, mess up the house every day, you know? And on a day-to-day -day basis, here I am speaking to the choir, but you have to, if you're driven to achievement, then investing in intimate, loving relationships with our partners and our children is something that we intend to do, but we invest in a pers to pursue a, a, of a strategy that we don't want to get into, you know. And that would be my hope for my wonderful friends here as well as the next generation to realize that the very same mechanism that causes disruption at a corporate level and a national level, actually the very same process goes in on our brains and our hearts 24-7. And uh, we need to just keep our bearings that if we intend to have at home something that brings happiness in our lives, then we better be willing to invest our time and energy to pursue that strategy and not end up with something that we didn't intend to, to get.